Hi, I'm BT at TwoGuysTrading.com. And I'm Jay. And today is Sunday, May 16th. And wow, we have had a lot of movement this week in Bitcoin and Ethereum. It has uh, definitely been a roller coaster a little bit this week. So. I have. I get the feeling that people are losing some confidence, Jay. Yeah. I Really? Yeah. All right. No, you know what? For sure. Because... You know, unfortunately, a lot of people panic during times like this. So, you know, BT, what do you what do you see going on right now? I'm excited about that, actually. You know why? Because a panic opportunity is what everyone does, and that's the people that really understand how to trade and make money. Love that because that's when you're it, it, about the time you and I. This is something I learned in the derivatives market a long time ago. About the time you want to puke because you think that you're scared to death is just about the time you should be buying. Oh yes. So I think that adage holds true in pretty much any market. So people are really worried, they're getting, they're, they're, they're scared to death. That means we're not at the end yet because the next wave's coming. But uh, so while we're talking about that, let's do a recap of, uh, of Bitcoin and Ethereum. You ready for that? Yep. Okay. So if you look at Bitcoin in a chart, I'm looking at dailies because I don't have the time to sit there and trade all day every day in the middle of the day. So I like to use daily and weekly charts. Um, because that's the time I have available to me. Uh, and it, for, for my kind of trading style, that's what I like to use. For Bitcoin, if you'll notice, there's a channel. It, the price is going back and forth right now. And right now we're reaching the kind of the bottom portion of that channel. We're this may be the bottom, but I'm not quite convinced of that yet. But if you go back just a little bit more back to, I think, uh, the end of April, you'll see there's another little low there. So either right here or probably right there is when I'd say we're going to start testing that bottom. That's going to probably take a little bit, uh, but then you'll see a swing up. Next up, we have Ethereum. Chart still looks good. You've had some consolidation up here. People are worried to death. But let's get realistic and recap for just a second here. We just hit, what, we went from uh, 30, 30, I can't remember what it was. 3,600, 3,200, I can't remember which number it was exactly, but you know, versus the la you know, last week, it's, a, it's almost a 70% move. Of course you would expect to see some profit taking and some consolidation yeah, here. Yeah, I think it was around 2,400, went up to about 4,100, 4,200. Yeah, somewhere in there. And then, uh, but anyway, we've had a nice, uh, it's, it's still following its moving average. It hasn't broken through. It's like in a consolidating range right now. And I would expect when the next wave of buying comes out, you'll have a breakout. You know, uh, it looks like a nice triangle formation. I think we're gonna get a pop out, break out to the upside. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna actually uh, explain a little bit something for everyone here. This is actually a very important, uh, me, like this is an important show that we're doing today because I'm going to give you some nuts and bolts that most all YouTubers, anyone will not give you. This is very important, pin this one, save it, remember it while everything's going on here during this bull market and then the bear market to come. Please re, please look back on this. I'm going to mention this a few times during the next new two months, three months. So, in the his, history of Bitcoin, when you're trading and when you're in an asset class, you always go during historical. Once you research it, you know the history. You basically trade off that history until that no longer is relevant. Well, what I'm about to tell you is relevant because it's never not happened. So just remember what I'm saying. So there's a consolidation box, and every time you have an all-time high and you get a bear market in Bitcoin, which we've had three, right? Three, three cycles basically in Bitcoin's history. There's a consolidation box. It's held true every cycle. That consolidation box is between 1.5 to four times the previous all-time high. The previous all-time high for Bitcoin was 2017, it was 20,000. We're just gonna round it, it might be 19,900 and something, but let's just say it's always, everyone always refers it to 20,000. That means this box is between 30 and 80,000. 30 and 80. This consolidation box, you're usually in it anywhere from three to five months, sometimes six months, okay? We've been in this box now, this is the third to fourth month, somewhere around there, but I think it's the third month. We're getting towards the end of this consolidation box, so folks, when this price is still in that consolidation box, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing. You can listen to Elon Musk. You can listen to the mainstream media. Go, oh my gosh, what's going on? Everything's falling apart. Look at the box. Every time in a bull market, you are going to get highs and lows. Tipsy-turvy, okay? And the mainstream media is going to try to sway you one way and the other, whether it's, oh my gosh, buy now and you're buying the top, or, oh my gosh, sell, and this is a buying opportunity. Folks, until this is, pans out and is not true, unless Bitcoin severely went below $30,000, guess what? Buy. 
don't worry, buy, you're getting it cheap. Or if you're not wanting to buy Bitcoin, buy whatever crypto you fundamentally like because that project's good. And the reason why I say that is because yes, we have the meme coins and all this stuff that pumps up, but sometimes you don't know which ones those are. But if you know a product has great fundamentals and is severely undervalued, I promise you before the end of this bull run, it will come up pretty much to where it needs to go. And it's going to have a major pump sometime during this bull market. For instance, we have been pumping Matic. We have talked about Matic, which is Polygon. It has so much going on with its ecosystem. And guess what it's done in the last, while everything's kind of consolidating and even dropping in the market, Matic has gone up over 130% while everything else has dropped. It's fundamentally sound. We said this should be a top 10, if not top, top 15, top 10 coin. Well, it's in the 20s now because it's finally gaining the steam it should, and it still has a lot of upside. We're gonna talk about that here a little bit later. So remember, consolidation box, 30 to $80,000 for Bitcoin. When it breaks that $80,000 and goes out of that consolidation box, understand that the move will be exponential from there. And we think it's going to be anywhere from 150 to 250 K probably. I mean, it could be more, it could be less, but we think there that consolidation box also is where the bear market bottom comes as well. It's been verbatim every cycle. So until that changes, so you know that Bitcoin will most likely retrace close to, let's say 50, 80,000. It won't go all the way down to 30. It's never done that, but 50 to 80,000 when it comes back down. So, Please pin that, please remember that. We wanna make sure that you're, you don't panic with all this stuff going on. Now, going into another story, scams, BT. Okay, and if you see me point every once in a while, Jay and I try to remain cognizant of how much time we spend so that we don't you know, get too long-winded because God knows we could sit here and all day and talk about you know, yeah. cryptocurrency. Yeah. But uh, as far as scams go, pump and dumps, great valuable lessons this past week. Because sometimes Jay and I go into smaller coins or speculative coins, um, uh, you know, pancake swaps in exchange, for example. Sometimes you get massive returns out of that. So sometimes it makes it worthwhile, especially if you're following your chart formations, which uh, we actually discuss a lot on, on uh, twoguystrading.com in our membership area. But um, uh, <laughs> the two that I think that we uh, experienced this week the most are the uh, the Roach Motel strategy and the... Uh, and the uh, um, uh, what was the other one? The, the equity drain. Yeah. yeah. So basically the Roach Motel, for those of you who <laughs> don't know about Roach Motels, <laughs> the roaches go in, they don't come out. Yeah. So basically the coin is constructed so that you go money, in, but you don't come you out. You don't come out. That's right. That's right. So it keeps driving the price up and basically the creator of the token just walks away with the money. Yeah. And you can't liquidate. That's yeah. a, that's a good, that's it. That's exciting. Especially when you get euphoric <laughs> about, my God, it's up to 5 million market cap. Oh crap. I can't sell. What fuckery is this? Sorry. I shouldn't say things like that on YouTube, on, on our channel, but it's okay. Might need to delete that. But anyways, keep going. Anyway, and then there's the equity drain, where it looks like this great coin's coming out. I even had one this past week that was advertised, blinking. This is the greatest thing on the planet. We didn't get into that one. No. But there was, another, there was a similar one where it opens here, and suddenly, in the course of 37 seconds, <laughs> the money's just gone. And so yeah. that happens. Yeah. So that's why we never commit large amounts of capital into that. So we had the scams with PancakeSwap. The other scam that I want to make sure that everyone understands is the ransomware so if you see anyone please on youtube or facebook or anywhere say hey if you give me your coins i'll give you back double please don't do it we have heard countless people with this scam and it's an old scam you don't get things for free folks that's just not how the world works i don't want you to lose your money so if someone says hey if you give me your coins I'll get you on this exchange and then I'll give you uh, double your coins or 50% more coins. You just gave your money away. Please don't do that. There's been 81 million in losses in crypto for people doing that. So if you sit here and laugh and say, oh my gosh, how could people do it? People do it. And we want to make sure we protect you all because you're, you know, we, we love you all. And we don't want you to get scammed like that and lose your hard earned mm -hmm. money. Okay. So please don't do that. That's the risk of trading off major exchange. All right, now our next story. We've got a bunch of coins here, so we're gonna go real quick and we just wanna mention some things about these coins. So why don't you go with the first one, BT? Uh, what are we talking about, Phantom? Yeah. 
Tell me about some Phantom. All right, so Phantom just actually partnered with an F1 team called uh, Alftori. Uh, it's been in the uh, F1 space, so it really is gaining traction in many different areas, but I'd always like to mention F1 because F1 has a big platform for a lot of sponsorships. And this just shows you that this project actually has, I mean, it literally has its logo on one of the cars now. So that's actually big for a race team in F1, which is the biggest racing circuit in the world, to actually put a sponsorship of a coin on their actual car. That's huge. So that's number one. Number two, Matic. What about Matic? I'm excited about Matic. <laughs> I haven't done my homework this week, folks, in case you can't tell, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. It sounded like a naturally good progress or transition, didn't it? So, all right, Matic, Polygon, just talked about the huge pump, okay? Some of the great things with Polygon. Polygon is becoming the currency of DEXs, which means DEXs are like sushi swap, one inch, right? Where you get these small coins as well as like pancake swap. But really, sushi swap and one inch, it's becoming the currency and the token to trade off of into these small coins. That's huge. Number two, it's gaining a ton of projects from Ethereum because it's running on the Ethereum network first off. And it's gaining a ton of projects from that because they're so viable and so good. Number three, it's becoming the DEX coin because it's actually become, it's quicker and less gas fees than BNB. And folks, we've seen what BNB has done in the last uh, what four months it's gone tremendous. up like I mean just the stratosphere from like $20 to 600 I'm telling you right now we've been saying this for now almost a month Matic is nowhere near its value it's still undervalued so all these things happening for Mac is great all right last one I have socios.com and Chili's or CHZ okay uh, basically NFT NFT kind of platform they are getting a ton of sports teams, soccer teams, which soccer is the biggest sport in the world. And now they're also uh, adding UFC in June as a project and a sponsor, like a partnership. And they're adding Roush Racing. Folks, these are huge names in whatever industry. You might not know anything about racing. You might not know anything about UFC, but everyone knows what they are. Roush Racing and Roush basically with Roush Mustangs and everything that they have, they have a ton of cars right? They're huge in racing. And then you've got UFC. I mean, that's just a money pit. So uh, the fact that they're uh, partnering with both of these in the next couple months, you know, maybe you want to look at that coin. Just saying with uh, CHZ, which is Chili's. I always say Chili's. I'm probably pronouncing it completely horrible, but that's what it sounds like to me. But we're going to say CHZ. How about that? Sounds so good. <laughs> Works for me, buddy. You like CHZ? Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Could be the Ritz. I could be. I, I probably mispronounced that that coin. I've said it in like three episodes. It's probably the worst. No, we could have a coin called Marbles, and I could care less <laughs> if it goes up and makes a ton of money. That's I great. know all the other coins I have mentioned. I have pronounced them right. I just for some reason can never remember how to pronounce that one. I don't know why. That's good. And I always second guess myself. Well, I might don't be know, right. I'm sure as I'm sure I'm, as hell not gonna. Know. I might be right, and if I'm not, please comment in our comment section and drop a comment and say, um, Jay. It's not pronounced chilies like chilies. <laughs> Baby it's, back ribs. Yeah. I, I've been saying chilies like, hey, let's chill. I, I don't know if that's right the either. Responses this but week. But please comment and say, um, Jay, yeah, you're completely wrong. Or Jay, no, you're spot on. Either one, I, it's, I, I will welcome whatever feedback that you can give me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're killing too many brain cells with all these beers. <laughs> Thanks to this project. Right. Okay, that's all we got for today, folks. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. And remember, remember what we said about Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's very important in this bull market because once it breaks out consolidation, two to four months is all you got. Remember that. Pin this video. Opportunity. Opportunity. Don't panic, please. That's you know? right. And we want you all to do great. We want you all to succeed. We want you all to get your gains. So Have a great week. Have a great week.